What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be using the best hog cycle deck in Clash Royale right now. So you guys see here 2.8 average elixir cost, and you've got the Firecracker in it, which has synergized so well in hog for a while now. The Valkyrie is essential to have because of all the royal hogs, so you're going to need a good splash card to take care of those. And then the Skeletons and the Ice Spirit, just kind of for cycle, the Ice Spirit I think is the best spirit to have in this deck because it allows you to slow down things for a longer period of time than the Electra Spirit. And also the Fire Spirit doesn't really make sense either because it can be much harder to defend things if you don't slow it down at all. The Earthquake is going to allow you to break through buildings. It's very important to have in hog decks because there's tons of buildings right now. I mean, there's a lot of people still using Tesla after the nerf it got. I mean, this deck has Tesla itself, which is it's still a top three, even top two building in the game right now. And then Log, just such a good spell with Hog. This deck actually finished second in the world last season. I think the person who finished second with it, Ian, he used Fire Spirit some of his games, but I think Ice Spirit is the most consistent, well-known variant in this meta right now. So before we head in the first game, if you guys would like to support me, as always, you can use my code BOSS in any Super Soul game. Really do appreciate all the support from you guys. It does mean a lot. So with that said, I did push up a little bit since the last video. You can see here we're almost top 600. Nothing crazy though, but the season did just start, so there's really no pressure to push insanely high up right away. And also we have a uh, global tournament starting up in three days, so I'm looking forward to making a video or two on that. And yeah, let's head into the first match. All right guys, so we found a first game here. Please subscribe if you guys don't wanna miss any of my content. Would appreciate that. Go ahead and give them the good luck. And you know what I realize is I haven't made a hog video in a while, which is surprising because it's still a very, very good win condition. I think it just got overshadowed by all the royal hogs that were in the meta, but it's still one of the most consistent win conditions in the game, and I think it's just as good as royal hogs are. So we're just going to go Ice Spirit here. We're able to hit all the bats except one. This guy might be using Lava Cologne, which is kind of unfortunate because I think that's a very, very difficult matchup for Hog EQ because we don't have a way of dealing with the Flying Machines. I was going to, yeah, I was going to say go for Prediction Log, but the problem is, is I played it extremely late. I kind of wanted to be able to kill that Skarmie quicker so that Hog, of course, could have gotten more shots in, but at least it was able to pick up one hit. I don't really think that was worth it, though, but I guess it is what it is. See if he has Arrows or a Fireball. If he has Arrows, then this matchup is going to be insanely difficult in my opinion luckily he's got fireball so we definitely can win this now because it's he has to overcommit every time to take out my firecracker as opposed to it being an even trade and also with him having fireball what that means is we can space out our firecracker and tesla so we can't fireball both at the same time we're gonna go for a hog rider here to distract this flying machine I'm going into the weaker lane, but I didn't really want to take the entirety of that flying machine, and you see the flying machine locked on my tower instead of the Tesla, because the Tesla wasn't further up. I guess here we can just cycle an Ice Spirit. I don't really want to cycle my Firecracker, because I need to save that for his lava. What I could actually do is I could go Valkyrie, and then I could go for maybe like a Firecracker to predict bats here. He actually goes for Lumberjack instead, so what we can do is we can go for a Hog now. He's completely out of Elixir, so he might even just sack this tower. That would be the smart thing to do, and yeah, that is what he is going to do. So we'll just go for a Tesla here. We can go for a Ice Spirit, and let's try to defend this. I don't think we can, but look at the King Tower. We're actually getting it quite low. Um, yeah, we aren't going to be able to defend, and that's what makes this matchup quite challenging, as you can see, it's so hard to defend. But I'm going to go for the 3 crown here, he just used all of his elixir, we'll go for a Ice Spirit 2, I think we could take that damage, and yeah, guys, we might actually be able to 3 crown him, which is insane, because this deck isn't really a 3 crown deck, but we just did it, we 3 crown Lava Clone, because he committed all of his elixir, didn't have any on defense, so I was not expecting that at all. So yeah, GG, really, really nice first win there. And I don't know, that, that's typically hard, but I think what allowed us to win it was if if he had arrows, there's, I don't think there's any way we would have won that. The fireball gave us that chance of winning, and also we defended and pressured at the correct times, made sure that I didn't get overwhelmed, and then when I knew that, I just went all out on offense. So yeah, let's head into the second match. Okay guys, in our second game here against Black Storm. So let's see our starting hands looking like. We do have our hog in cycle, but you don't usually want to immediately go for a hog because... It's not too risky, but because he just split archers now, we can go for it. We have the Skeleton supporting too. He's going to go for an Electro Spirit and a Knight. 
So if he's using Expo, this is a pretty good matchup for me, as you guys know, because Earthquake is so good against Expo and the Tesla. We'll go for an Ice Spirit here. It's going to distract both the Archer and the Knight, simultaneously defend both. I don't think that Knight gets a shot. I'm so confident I'm not going to drop my Skeletons. Let's go. No hits on the tower. So again, I think I'm going to cycle my Skeletons and go for a Hog. This time, he's probably going to Tesla. Yeah, there's a Tesla. He plays it low. I'm not going to Earthquake it, though, because it's single Elixir, so it would be easy for him to get an Expo down before I can get back to my Earthquake quick enough. I'm going to go Firecracker in this lane because he already dealt damage to this lane, and he's going to go for an Expo. That's really interesting, in my opinion, because... I feel like he should know that I have the Earthquake based off of the cards I used, but I guess he didn't for some reason, and he's not going to get any damage on top of my tower. And that should be, you know, continuing to happen throughout the game. It's going to be very, very difficult for him to get an Expo Lock, because once it hits Double Elixir especially, I mean, I'm always going to have an Earthquake and cycle when I need it, and I can even use it on the Teslas and get back to it by just tanking for the Expo and then cycling back to my Earthquake again. So I'm just going to go for a hog at the bridge. He's going to expo, so I might even... Oh, nice. We can actually earthquake both. That's really nice. It's not going to allow the hog to get a shot, but... You know, at least it looked cool, right? He goes for a knight. And, yeah, this is going to be a long game. I mean, even though we have a good matchup, it's going to be really hard for us to... I think take a tower, just because we don't want to be overly aggressive. So we're going to go hog here. And should we just activate the King Tower for the heck of it? I don't know. I mean, it could be useful against a Knight or something, right? I just like doing it, you know, even when I'm against things like Expo, just because... Um... I don't know. It could change certain interactions. It doesn't help too much, but like I said, you never know. So here, like I said, we can use our Earthquakes on offense because it's quite easy for us to get back to it on defense. Like right here, I'm already back to the Earthquake, so the Expo is going to get very minimal damage on our tower. It gets a tiny bit, but it's not a lot at all. And he's going to go for another, but again, we can just go for a Valk, and we're already back to our Earthquake. We're just going to hit the tower again. And I don't think we need to drop an Ice Spirit. That should be enough. Yeah, we're fine. We actually dealt more damage in the right lane than he's dealt to our right tower. That's how good the Earthquake is in this matchup. Skeleton's here. We'll go for a High Valkyrie to protect our Firecracker. I think the Firecracker should kill the Archers. Yeah, it does. We can go Hog here. And we can go Earthquake. He goes for a low Tesla. I think he had to because of the Firecracker. But yeah, you can see why this is such a good matchup for Hog. It's one you should win, you know, like 80% of the time if you play perfectly. Alright, that should wrap up the game there. Didn't take that Firecracker off the board. It's going to be a nuisance for him. He can log it now, but still, I mean, he would have liked to take it out with that fireball. He might switch lanes and go expo in the left lane, because he might want us to stop earthquaking the right. Alright, so he goes for the... Let's go Valk here. And then Hog, we're just going to keep cycling earthquakes on his tower. Earthquake does more damage than fireball, so he can't catch up. There's, there's just no way. Just make sure to not give him fireball value and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Bad archers. Yep, firecracker just takes those right out. Earthquake again. He actually dropped a Tesla right into it. That was not it. And then log, ooh, kills everything. And that's GG. I'd just give up now if I were him. Yep, brutal matchup for him. But we made sure to... You know, play it safe. He was never able to get a good expo lock on the tower. I don't even know if he got a single expo lock. I can't remember. If he got one, it was just very minimal. Like, you know, 100, 200 damage. Nothing major. So, let's go ahead and claim our reward real quick. I'm fully maxed, so don't care too much about the rewards. But it's nice to, um, you know, get the tower skin and the emote. That's the main reason why I, of course, buy the pass. I mean, that's why all fully maxed players do, I'm sure. Okay, guys, so here we go. We found our next match against Nova Venom. So we'll go ahead and give him the good luck. And I guess we could just start with Skeletons and go for an Ice Spirit. So he's going to log. I guess we can log too. And I actually played this guy in my last video. It's the guy who is using emotes the whole game. I might mute again just because they get a little bit obnoxious. So he's going to go for a Musk. 
I'm just going to go for a high Tesla. And we can just go for a Spirit here. Oh, nice. The Valkyrie ended up taking that out. That's really good. Alright, so yeah, we can mute. <laughs> He's getting a little crazy with the emotes. So, and I like to focus, especially when I'm running a cycle deck. I feel like the emotes can distract you a little bit more than if you're running something heavier. So we'll just go log. We need to try to get back to a Tesla as quick as we can, because we know that he's going to try to get away with a hog when I didn't have it in cycle. But we're able to get back to it. And now the problem is, is he's going to be able to get back to a hog, I'm pretty sure, before I get back to my Tesla. So we got to be really careful. I think I gotta try to force a fireball out of him, which forces him to commit a four elixir card. And then he has to take longer to get back to the hog, so that's fine. We're just gonna go for an ice spirit here, and then go skeletons, and then we're one card away from getting back to a tesla, so I think we should be okay. I'm gonna go hog, because I want to see if he has a tesla or a cannon. Last time I played against him, he had a tesla, and it looks like he still has it this time. So... We'll go Valk here, just because I don't want to take 100 damage or so from that Ice Spirit. He's probably going to Musk. If he does, I'll probably Earthquake. Okay, he goes Skeletons first, and there's the Musk. So let's go ahead and Earthquake it, just to deal some damage to it in the tower. And it ends up getting one swing on it, so we can just take that out there. We'll go for an Ice Spirit, and then we'll go for a High Tesla like this. And then let's go ahead and Valkyrie. I'm going to wait to Hog because he might go for an Ice Golem to block it. No, he doesn't. So let's go Hog now. And then we're going to go Earthquake. So that was kind of a bad Tesla in my opinion. But unfortunately, we don't have a good cycle for that Hog. So we have to drop our Skeletons late. But we still end up taking it out, so we're fine. Let's just go for a Hog to distract this Musketeer to defend and apply pressure at the same time. He's going to go for a High Tesla this time, which is the... Correct play, our hog's not going to get any damage, and we can't Earthquake it. So good. Tesla here on defense. We're just going to go for the Ice Spear to slow that down. And then we can go Skeletons to pop up this Tesla, and then we can go Hog. So here we go, Hog coming in, and then we'll go for an Earthquake right here to just damage the tower. I knew he would go for the High Tesla, but it would have killed Skeletons if he dropped them, and it deals, you know, a lot of damage to the tower, as I said. So another high Tesla here, we can just log to kill the Musketeer so it doesn't damage our Tesla. And then Skeletons to cycle. He's going to go Musk, so I guess I'll just play Valk, or excuse me, Firecracker in the same lane, because if he fireballs it, it's fine, it's a negative trade. And all in all, I just don't want him to be able to cycle back to a Hog before I get back to a Tesla, so I don't really care if it's a negative trade. And that's fine, he's just going to go for a Tesla on our Hog. We'll go in for a push. He just cycled his musk, so it's a good time to pressure. It's going to fireball, but it won't hit the hog, which is really good. And then we can earthquake, and... Oh, we don't hit the Tesla. That's unfortunate. If I hit the Tesla, we would have run one right there, but... I guess it's okay. We're still in a really good situation overall. I'm going to cycle another hog, because I don't think he has... Um, let's go. Yeah, he didn't have his Tesla in cycle. Now he does, but this time it gets played in the earthquake, and the hog will get one shot on top of the tower. We're going to go for another Tesla here, and uh, yeah, as you guys can see, this is why the Earthquake is just so useful to have in the mirror match. We can just go for another Earthquake, and then I think we just need to log, and then Earthquake is tower again, and we'll be able to get the win. So we'll go for a Tesla like this here, go for an Ice Spirit, and an Earthquake, and that is going to be GG. So we ended up beating this guy two videos in a row, because of course in my last video when I ran Expo, he was using Hog 2, but yeah, I think that's a good matchup for me, because... As I said, the Earthquake is just so much more valuable than the Fireball because the Fireball is an overcommitment when he kills my Firecracker, and also, it's even, it's, even though it's an even trade against the Tesla, it doesn't fully take it out, and it's just not good value compared to the Earthquake that's only 3 Elixir, and I also feel like the Valkyrie gets significantly more value than the Ice Golem too, but yeah, not bad. We get to 6,800, which is going to put us... 448th in the world which is not bad at all we'll see if we can continue climbing and let's head into the next match okay guys here we go in our next game here we'll go ahead and give this guy the good luck so let's see what he wants to do he's gonna go skeletons i guess i can just cycle an ice spirit and um okay he's gonna go hog so we'll go tesla here 
Oh no, he has... Okay, so he's got an Earthquake. That's unfortunate. Go Valkyrie here. Hopefully he has a building too, so our own Earthquake can get value. Oh no. Oh, that Magic Archer, actually, it was okay, but it's not going to line up the whole time, so it's not the end of the world. We'll go Hog here, because that Magic Archer was aggressive. Okay, so he has a Tesla of his own. Hmm, okay, well, this is not the best start. If I didn't take all that damage early on, I wouldn't say this is a bad situation at all, but because we kind of... I don't know if I could say we got starting handed. I feel like we did, though, because he just kind of got a little lucky that I wasn't expecting his first real hog push, and also he... the Magic Archer 2 was lucky because I didn't know he had it, so... I mean, it of course was a good play on his end because it worked out, but it was also a little lucky in my eyes, but... Mm, I guess we'll see if we can come back, right? We have, we have the Valkyrie, so it's possible. I'm gonna go Hog. I think he needs to play one more card till he gets back to a Tesla, so hopefully we... Oh, he got back to it. Well played, well played. My fault for not keeping track of Cycle there. And he played it high up, of course, so I can't Earthquake it. I feel like this is gonna be quite challenging because the delivery is so good, too, against the Firecracker. I'm gonna go for a high Tesla here, and this time his Earthquake will not hit it. So I'm just going to cycle Skeletons, and we're actually going to be able to get back to another Hog, and he, this time he does not have the Teslans rotation. He's probably going to go Skeletons. Yeah, there's the Skeletons, but it's not going to allow him to activate the King Tower. I think he tried to, but it's not going to because he played them. Uh-oh, what is my Firecracker doing? Actually, that's not a bad thing because now it's going to allow us to kill it with the Log. So that's actually a good thing that that happened. Anyway, another Tesla here. This time he decides to... This might not actually be as bad now that we got in double. Oh, that log. Wow. So let's actually go for a hog like this to distract the magic archer. Look at that nice little kite there. It does get one shot on the tower, but that was a pretty nice defense overall, I would say. I'm going to go Ice Spear to cycle. We're going to go for a high Tesla here. And this time he doesn't hit the Tesla. He chooses to hit the tower. We're going to go for a hog. I think we outcycled it. And then we're going to go for a earthquake here. Our Tesla's going to help out a little bit, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough for the Hog to get a hit. He's going to log, so let's actually go for a Valkyrie here to protect the... Oh. Well, we both kind of just made a bit of a mistake there. So let's go for... Mm, well, that's an even trade, so that's not the end of the world, but... Okay, so he's just going to cycle his Earthquake on nothing there. Just for the ch tower chip, of course. But yeah, that, that really is a shame, because I feel like if we didn't take all that damage early on, we definitely could have won this one. If we lose, I feel like it's primarily... <gasps> he just... Yo! That's a huge mistake that could end up costing him the game. Does he go for hogs here? We have a chance now. Let's Earthquake the Magic Archer. I'm going to take any Earthquake value he gives me. And I'm going to try to avoid giving him Earthquake value. That's the game plan right now. Let's log this. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, GG. Well, the Magic Archer at the end killed us there. That overall was a pretty good game, though, I would say. It is quite unfortunate that we took... I don't know how much damage we took at the beginning, but I think it was like 800 or something like that. But yeah, overall, that was a good game. I think if I had a Tesla in cycle, I should have played that for sure instead of using my Valkyrie to defend those Royal Hogs because obviously, you know, it gave him a Magic Archer opportunity, but still was a pretty good game. And in the end, it was closer than I thought it would be after that start we had. All right, here we go, guys. In our next match against Take, we'll go ahead and give him the good luck. I actually know what this guy's using because I play him quite a lot in the middle and end of the season. He's really, really good with Sparky, but it looks like he switched his deck. He normally uses Sparky, but he changed it. I guess it's early season, so he's practicing other things. That's what a lot of people do. So we're going to go Valkyrie here, another Royal Hog deck. Royal Hogs are everywhere right now. Um, I don't think he's using it with Magic Archer this time, though. That last guy who had it with Magic Archer, that was an unusual variant. Most people don't use it with Magic Archer. So we're going to have a okay oh you know what i think he's using i think he's using the mortar royal hog deck because that has snowball and archers in it so we deal a heck of a lot of damage right there early on 
Good musk, but also good log by us. And that firecracker still got value. It shot the musketeer. He doesn't have snowball and cycle, so we don't have to worry about him taking out our... Um, <clears throat> the skeletons with the prediction snowball. So I'm just going to go Valkyrie here, and then I guess we can hog to apply pressure. He's probably going to mortar. I'm going to log so this way the... Hogs don't get as much damage, but man, even with that Valkyrie and Log, the Hogs still de dealt, you know, a tremendous amount of damage to our tower. I mean, that's why they're so good right now, even when you play a Dark Prince and Valkyrie, it deals so much. He's gonna have to go for his own Valkyrie here, I guess that's pretty good for us, because he had to, in a way, overcommit, because that Valkyrie already got value on our side of the map, and now it's even better, because he can't go for a valkyrie to block the bridge here so this means i can go valkyrie hog and he also doesn't have a um a mortar in cycle so this is not really going to be easy for him to defend he has to go for a defensive fireball and the hog is going to get i believe what three hits on his tower yeah let's go that was really really good i identified his cycle i took advantage of it he didn't have that valkyrie in cycle so he couldn't block my valkyrie so we were able to block the tower with it and then also on top of that i was able to um so uh, get a hog in because he didn't have his mortar in cycle so it's always good to keep track of the cycle we can go for an earthquake here and this hog may get a shot it might not even if it doesn't it's okay because we got earthquake damage and we forced a lot of elixir out of him because you see he had to go for a valkyrie too we can go for a high valk like this and then we can tesla so this way when he goes for the hogs we have the valkyrie that's close by too that can help out maybe Mm, a little bit looks like it was already pretty much dealt with anyway i'm not gonna earthquake i was very tempted to but he might go for an offensive mortar that we got to watch out for we go for skeletons here he's gonna go for a valkyrie and then he's gonna go hogs so for me that worked when i did it but for him it's not really gonna work because i had my valkyrie in cycle and i could block the bridge and you can see the difference there having that valkyrie in cycle is so helpful and when he did it it was not very effective but when i did it it worked pretty well so now we pretty much can just win. Okay, well, I was going to say we could just cycle two, but now, you know, it's already over. So yeah, GG. Pretty easy matchup for us. I mean, even though, you know, like, I feel like the Royal Hogs are very, very strong. Valkyrie just does a great job against them. And, you know, EQ is very good against Mortar. It's, it's really difficult for him to, I think, deal with the Hogs. And he can never get an offensive Mortar down because he always needs to save it for the Hog. So not too bad at all. I think we'll play... Um, I don't know, maybe this will be the last game, I guess it depends on how, how long it is. But actually, I think, I think I've already played five games, right? I think I've won four games and I've lost one. So this will be the last game, I think, no matter what, and I'll see you guys when I find it. Which is now, I guess. Alright, so, here we go against Lead here. Go ahead and cycle Skeletons, and see what he wants to do from there. I guess we can just Ice Spirit. He's gonna have a Ghost. So my cycle's a little whack right now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any great thing in cycle. I might even have to go for a defensive hog just to pop up this Tesla. And actually that's fine because he's, I guess, gonna have to waste minions here. They're just going to, I guess, just die to the... Alright, well, never mind, we can just Valk to clean it up, it's alright. They didn't die to the Tesla like I thought they would because the battle ram distracted, but we ended up being okay anyway. So this is Pekka. I would assume, which shouldn't be too bad because our Firecracker gets a lot of value in this matchup and our Tesla. So we just go Ice Spirit here, go Skeletons to Cycle, he's going to go Ghost. Um, I think again we're just going to go for Tesla and what's really nice is this Skeleton will actually distract the Ghost which will then direct it to the Tesla so that one Skeleton was so helpful and allowed me to not have to overcommit on that Ghost which I'm so grateful for. I didn't have to waste a hog this time. So that fireball is quite aggressive. We can actually just go for a hog rider to pull this back and force a response out of him. So I'm going to go Ewiz and a bandit. Wow, that's quite a big overcommitment in my opinion, just for a hog rider. I feel like he could have just gone Ewiz and done nothing else, but I guess he wanted to prevent all the hits. He's probably going to go minions here, or he won't have to do anything actually, because that Valk was, I guess, you know, further back than in I or farther in front than I thought it was, so the bandit didn't cross the bridge. I thought the tower was going to help out. But once we get in double elixir, I think this matchup, surprisingly, even though we're using a cycle deck, becomes easier because we'll be able to cycle earthquakes on his tower and get a lot of damage. 
Here he's going to P.E.K.K.A. He might have played it late, so yeah, it is going to get one shot on the tower. I was going to say, you can play it quickly and it doesn't get a single shot, but it's hard to react and do that. So he's going to go for a Fireball. Um, I think we might try to go for a Tesla here. And let's go for an Ice Spirit. Skeletons to pull this back, and there we go. Pretty good defense. Not too difficult because our Skeletons and stuff like that get a lot of value. I'm actually just going to go ahead and cycle an Earthquake on the tower. We can start doing that now because we're in double elixir. And it, you don't want to play too many hogs in this matchup because it's so easy to get a ton of... Oh my! Uh, thank you, Battle Ram, for just ignoring my Tesla. I don't know why that happened. I don't know if my opponent knew that was going to happen or if he just got lucky, but... I think what happened was is the P.E.K.K.A. pushed it, that's a little, that, that's honestly extremely unfortunate because we're going to lose the game because of that. Like, I, I think we, we lost. I, I don't know. That's, you know, like like I just said, that's that's quite un, unfortunate. Um, you know, if, if he did that intentionally, then well played on his part, but something tells me he got a little bit lucky and... I got, I got, I got to admit, I'm, a, I'm a little salty. I'm, I'm a little salty because that interaction, you know, completely potentially cost us the game. If, you know, if I lose this, which it's certainly looking like, unfortunately, because I took so much damage from that. The, you know, the only way I win this is if I somehow I'm able to get enough hog chip and then at the end cycle a bunch of earthquakes, but. Let me tell you, it ain't going to be easy. I guess we're going to go Valkyrie here. We need to get Skeletons down to distract the... Alright, well, that's going to be game. Alright, well, you know, that's unlucky, because actually if I didn't miss that... You know, good game, at least he's respectful. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie, because if I didn't miss that Tesla again uh, at the end on that battle run, we actually could have came back and won, because you saw that Hog ended up getting hit, so we could have cycled some Earthquakes and maybe got another Hog hit, and we could have stole that one at the end, but man, that was really unfortunate, wasn't it? The um, um, But yeah, not bad, we pushed up this video regardless, we won, um, yeah, four games. One, the first game we won was actually quite a difficult matchup, but we managed to win and uh, lost two matches. This one was kind of close. We made a good comeback. And this one, you know, was a good matchup for me. But I don't know what happened, how that Battle Ram didn't go for the Tesla. I think, you know, let's actually watch that, shall we? I, I think what happened was is the Pekka shoved it. It, it was really, really disappointing, though. I'm not going to lie. So he went for the Battle Ram, right? I, I, I felt like he did this on purpose, right? I mean, it looks like it. He played the Battle Ram first. And then Pekka... Or did this, did he get lucky? I don't, oh my gosh, the, the P.E.K.K.A., it like got stuck because of the Valkyrie and then the Battle Ram just yeeted to the right of the, man, that, that's really disappointing. Um, oh, well, let's put it this way. Stuff like that happens. You know, you guys know how it is. You get unlucky with interaction. Stuff happens like that. Um, disappointing, but hey. What are you going to do about it, you know? Next time, I guess, the, I'll try to play the Tesla higher or closer to the right. I don't know. But anyways, good video regardless. Make sure to like it if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. And thanks again until next time, guys.